I've seen a lot of articles on the internet telling you guys good books that 10 year olds should start reading. But are those articles written by an actual 10 or 11 year olds? I highly doubt it. Unlike those, I'm going to be telling you guys from my own experience. My name is Mahad, I'm 11 year olds and you guys are watching my YouTube channel, Read and Review. It often happens that you start reading a book but you're unable to finish it. Therefore, you're supposed to start reading the right books that will help you build up your reading habits. So, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the 5 books that 10 year olds should start reading. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's jump right into the video! Finally! Let's start with the first book, And the Mountains Echoed. I have spent many years reading books and what I think about them is that they get boring using irrelevant information but this book, nah, you can forget about that. This book never gets boring. If there is a fun scene or an action or adventure scene, they just keep on going. And this book is about simple and little things about life. That's why it never ever gets boring. Number two is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. This book boosts your imagination to a whole new level. I mean, imagine opening your closet door and entering a whole new world. Into the and in this world, there is stuff that not even mankind can imagine. If you're a 10 year old out there and you like creating your own fantasies, mark my words, you will finish this book. Book number three is the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. If there is a 10 year old kid out there and he is really interested in reading books, then I recommend that he should start reading this book because it is written in easy language and it's really illustrative. I still read this book and I still find it amusing. Uh -huh, sure. Book number four is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Kids have always been craving sweets and if you open this book to any page, you will feel as though there is a chocolate tsunami whooshing towards you. At least that's how I felt. But it's really fun to read because you really get to understand the characters really well because it's not from anyone's perspective and I really like it that way. But this book has also very very small lessons that young students can learn, including me. is The Almanac. This book is an overdose of science, of general knowledge and of animal kingdoms. I mean who would not want to learn about the cool stuff that the world already has and you don't even know about it. Did you know that there isn't any flat surface to walk on on Saturn? You need to know this before you get selected for NASA. That's it for today's video. I have reviewed all of these books in my previous videos, so if you guys want to check them out, links in the description for them. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and also drop a like on this video. Stay tuned because in my next video, I'm going to be reviewing The Alchemist. Goodbye! <laughs> Well, then you're supposed to start reading the right <laughs> Boost up your imagination to a whole new level. Level, not level. Mistakes were made. I'm going to kill you! It is really easy to... It is in written... In, what happened? And it is really illustrative. Unlike those, I am going to be telling you guys from my own experience. Hi, my name is Mahad. Nope! Yeah, that's all, folks! Yeah.